Hey everybody, Brian here, and I'm joined by Ted Thomas, one of our EVG advisors. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be talking about a strategy here today that's, uh, if you're looking to invest, this is a great strategy that can allow you to invest in it, uh, no matter where you're at, but in a strategy that Ted has been investing in for decades, he's gonna talk about that. But I wanna share with you because right now with everything going on in the markets, the economies uh, around the world, right? Um, learning to invest in ways that can get you, you know, pretty much almost guaranteed returns or can allow you to invest from home or put, you know, if you have cash or retirement funds, put those to work in a very stable uh, way that gets you stable returns is a huge boon right now. It's a, a huge uh, bonus to have. And so I wanted to invite Ted here to talk about this strategy and give you kind of a taste of what it looks like. And why I love the strategy just really quickly is because if you guys can't see my background, I'm actually in a motorhome right now traveling. I'm at the Grand Canyon right now. And it, Ted's strategy is one that I can do from here if I want. I can do it from a laptop. I can do it almost from a cell phone if I want to. It's that kind of a strategy. And it's also in a space that we all love. It's in the real estate space, but it's a little alternative. So a lot of people that invest in real estate might not even know how this works. So that's what's going to be really cool about what we're going to be here talking about today. So I want to make sure that we keep this short, but get some good quality questions uh, or some good information to you. So Ted, once again, thank you for taking the time to actually be here and talk about the strategy. Well, I'm sure glad to be here, and uh, I'm kind of envious. Uh, Grand Canyon for th three or four weeks now. I don't know if I could keep up with uh, three young boys, but uh, I can tell you, I, I loved it at the Grand Canyon when I was there. So that's a yeah. that's a that's a nice vacation. What a what an opportunity for them at that young age. Uh, terrific. Oh yeah, stuff. and this yeah. is our second stop. We're stopping in lots of different areas around the West Coast of the country. So it's a very cool adventure, as I call it. But I love, although I can, I run my businesses, I still do the same thing I do from home while I'm on the road because of the way that I've built my own personal businesses and wealth. I do it so I built it so that I can actually do these kinds of things with my family, have experiences, but also still, you know, get money coming in, get cash coming in, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm sleeping, working at the Grand Canyon, whatever it is, I still have right. these things working for me. So that's why it's so cool about this. So Ted, let's talk about the strategy. So what we're talking about here is tax lien certificates. That's kind of the main core of what you're what you do. So kind of explain to us what those are, how they work. Okay, good. Uh, before I do that, uh, let me just tell you one uh, quick story that yeah. that I just heard myself today about tax liens and deeds. So as you know, if you know the world, the world is changing a lot, and uh, uh, Hong Kong has kind of disappeared over the past couple of months because uh, China sort of took it over. A big surprise to those people, but. Uh, so we have an investor, I believe it or not, is in Hong Kong, and he's buying tax lien certificates in the United States. So talk about, he's got like a 13-hour time difference, and he's successfully buying. Now, he's actually sitting in a hotel waiting to move from Hong Kong. He's going to leave the, that community and move to Canada. So he's waiting for his, his certificate to come in to, to move into Canada. And of course, you know, the borders are still closed, like our, they're not open up like ours are. But, but anyway, so quite a story. So uh, for all you folks that are tuning in, uh, this is an old, old strategy, kind of like me, old, old guy. And I do um, tax liens and tax uh, defaulted property. And so I'm going to tell you guys about it. So uh, every property in the United States has a tax on it. And the tax is a property tax. Now, it's not a high tax. It's a low tax. But it's uh, about 1% or 2%, unless you happen to be in a California or New Jersey, New York. But basically, 1% or so of, of the value is uh, taxed every year. Now, it might be 2 or 3%, but it's very low. And so everybody has to pay these property tax. Now, with 100 million properties in the United States, you can imagine some people miss their payments. So when they miss the payment, the local government, I'm just picking up a piece of paper, will issue a piece of paper like this. And a little piece of paper just says tax lien certificate on it. And so if, if I didn't pay my tax, then they're going to sell that certificate because they need money to pay the tax. So Brian could buy it. Any one of you that are, are watching could buy it. Anybody you know can buy that certificate. And now why would you buy it? You say, oh, wait a minute, the guy didn't pay it. Well, because this certificate, depending upon the state that you buy it in, uh, could pay uh, could pay 18%, 16%, 25%, whatever. And I'll tell you more about that as we go along. But these certificates are very valuable. And so this is a valuable investment you can make and you can do it all sitting at your computer. So that's kind of a capsulized view or what we're going to talk about today. Gotcha. Um, and so the way, the, why you're buying these though, or why you're able to buy them is because something has happened to the property, correct? Right. What's happened is the property owner did not pay their taxes. Yep. If the property owner doesn't pay the tax, 
then the government needs money uh, to pay for the school teachers and the fire department and so on. So the government issues that certificate. Now, there's thousands of these issued. It's not like it's a, it's a, a secret business. It's been around for 200 years. Right. And so essentially the defaulted property. So the owner has defaulted in some way and the government right. is looking to recoup their, their money by issuing a, a tax lien that then you can go and do something with it. So you can actually acquire and buy the tax lien. We'll talk about that, what that looks like um, in a moment. But one of the things you mentioned here, which I think is a big deal for a lot of people, especially right now with what's going on around the world, the economy, COVID, all that kind of stuff is that you can do this online because I was in real estate for many, many years. I still love real estate, still do it. But a lot of that was in person. I'm going looking at properties. I'm doing renovations, rehabs, toilets, being a landlord, all that stuff. It's very oh, in person. Boy. This is something you can do online, correct? And you don't even have to see the properties. That's exactly right. Uh, these, uh, all these properties are, are uh, issued into a, uh, what they call an announcement. And so the announcement will be in the newspaper and it'll be online. Now, just for the fun of it, uh, while I'm going to talk, he's going to switch cameras. So, so this is just a camera on my desk. And so this is a, a tax lien list for Hillsborough County, which is Tampa, Florida. Now, I could have one of those for Miami in another minute. So this is a tax, this is a big newspaper. There's thousands, there's, there's about 30,000 certificates in this newspaper. And you can see, I'm just going to move the camera up and down. You'll get the idea. Uh, uh, there's the top of the paper. Now, here's the bottom of the paper. It's thousands and thousands of certificates all across the United States. Okay, so this, it's issued county at, after county. Now, this newspaper has, I'm going to go to the last page of it, just flipping it over here. Still the same newspaper. I'm just going to go to the last page, get my glasses on, tell you how many. There's about 35,000 certificates in this one newspaper. Notice there's no ads. There's just certificates in here. So I'm just going to the last page with my glasses. And this is page 71. Look, 71 pages of tax certificates. Yeah, 71 pages like this. I'm just showing you one page. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So that's just one county in, in the state of Florida. This is the county. And there's all the tax. So there it is, tax link and list. So you can find the same list online. So if you were sitting in right where you are right now, <clears throat> you're close to a, a very popular place to do this. You're in the Grand Canyon. Maricopa County will have a list just like this with 30,000. Maricopa County is Phoenix, Arizona. That'll give you some right. idea. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a lot of opportunities right there. I bought tax certificates, people that did not pay their taxes. I pay their taxes. I paid around $6,900, just shy of $7,000. I got 18% of my money. I just got redeemed in December and I got $1,890 back, which is 18% on your money. Where in the economy of today with the banks and the mutual fund, are you going to get 18% of your money? It's not going to happen. The question I, I get a lot and I, and I even had it when I first learned about this is, is when someone sees a tax and they see that right there, does that mean the government has actually taken possession of someone's home, taken their home away from them? Oh, they, you know, the tax lien certificate. The homeowner stays in possession. They never leave the property. They stay right in possession, okay. but they issue this certificate. So these are really very benevolent states. They, all the tax lien states, which is half of them, they're benevolent in the sense they don't kick the homeowner out. And so now if the homeowner, and this is what we like about this investment, the homeowner stays there. So let's say they got COVID. So they didn't pay their taxes because they got COVID. All right, now they get better. They can go in and pay their taxes. So when they go in to pay, you get back all your money and then you get a percent of interest rate on the money, you see? So it's a nice, safe investment. So essentially, you're, you're essentially buying the tax, the tax certificate because the government wants that money. They're going to get it from either the homeowner or from you. Exactly. Exactly. But they're going to, but so they're going to pay you, though, for it. They're going to pay you a return on the money, though, as well. Correct? Well, you know, you do a better job of explaining this than I do. I'm glad we're on this call. You're doing a good job. So the point is, yes, you're absolutely right. The, the investor gets their money from e either the county because the people paid or the right. investor gets the property. It's one okay, of the other. So, so, you can, so you can get the property because um, let's say, let's take a little quick example from a monetary perspective uh, or a number perspective. Let's say the tax lien is worth $5,000, $5,000. So from an investor, um, I'm going to go and buy that tax certificate for $5,000. Right. Okay? And then two things can happen. Well, one, I'm going to, if, if, the, if the property owner eventually does not, pay that property um, in a certain time frame, correct? Then I get the property. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You either, with a tax certificate, it's a secure investment. 
So when you buy the certificate, you have a security. That property can't be sold. It can't be mortgaged. Nothing can happen to that property until somebody pays the tax. Now, if nobody pays the tax, what will happen is because you own the certificate, you own the number one tax on that property. You have the number one lien on the property. So you get the property. So you either get paid or you get the property. It's one or the other. So let's talk about getting paid because that's that's the one that I think a lot of people are saying, well, what do you mean? I get paid. I get my $5,000 back. And so I basically put in $5,000 and I get my $5,000 back. That's not the case. Oh. Though. What, do, what do they actually get? First, you get your money back, which that's a great thing about investment, getting your money back. Uh, but depending upon what state you bought it in, then you would get in Arizona, you could get 16 percent. Uh, you could get as high as 18 percent in Florida. In Illinois, you could get all the way up to 36 percent. In Iowa, you could get 24. You're kind of getting the idea. So each state, right. the legislature decides exactly what they are willing to pay. They are always paying an outrageous interest rate. I mean, interest rates are one percent right now. So yeah. they're paying an outrageous rate to get people to come in and do this. Uh, but but they but for the investor, it's a perfect investment because you're either going to get paid or you're going to get the property. It's one or the other. Okay. And so is that percentage rate? Is that an annualized return? Yes, it's an annualized return in, in, with a tax lien certificate. Most of them are annualized, but there are states, and we haven't got to it yet, that they have penalty returns. So let me just divert a little bit. Now, I hope I don't confuse you. So right now we're talking about tax lien certificates, but let's just transfer in our brain. Let's go from the West Coast all to the East Coast. Let's go to Georgia. So in Georgia, if the pr people don't pay their tax, they'll also have a tax auction and they'll actually sell the deed to the property. So you actually right. get the deed in your hand, but it's a redeemable deed. But no matter how long you own it, if you own it one day or 365 days, it pays 20% because that's a penalty wow. return. So they have penalty returns in Georgia. They have penalty return, return in Texas. Texas pays 25. Uh, they could get a penalty return in Rhode Island or Connecticut, that kind of thing. So they have two different kinds of returns you can make on a tax lien certificate. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turn to Ted, we turn to um, all his education, we turn to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property, and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. it total for 11000 Both of those. And we rented like that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. One of the other questions we hear quite a bit on this strategy is what can you get, get started with? Can you, is, you have to have 10,000, 30,000, 500. What, what, what do you need to get started doing the strategy? Okay, well, people that want to start small, they can start with 500 or $1,000. Now, keep in mind, if you invest 500 and you got a 20% return for the year, you're not talking about a lot of money. So if you're investing pennies, you're just going to make pennies. Uh, so keep that in mind. And later on, we won't on this video today, but another day I'll show you about buying tax defaulted properties and those are even more lucrative but i'll tell you about that in the next one most people try to buy tax liens because they want a conservative investment so the beauty of the investment is 97 98 percent of these people are going to get paid right away there's very small percentage one or two percent are going to get the property so people like it and so they'll put they might take 25 or fifty thousand and divide it up into a bunch of tax lien certificates gotcha. now once you start buying them they all don't pay off at the same time so you're getting checks all the time. And if they're doing it online, it's even better because the county just dep deposits the money in your account. So you get a text telling you get money. So you love that, right? Right. Awesome. Yeah. We like those kind of uh, messages, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so is this, I mean, people are thinking about real estate, tax certificates, government. Is this complicated though to, to figure out? 
oh, no, no, this is easy. This is everything I'm going to talk about uh, when I talk about tax liens or show people. This was all invented 200 years ago when people couldn't read and write. So this actually came from England as a, as a wealth tax, and then they changed it to a property tax in the colonies, and then it just passed its way across the country. And each state has its own little rules about it, but it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, the challenge isn't we're not dealing with bad people. What's happened is sometimes someone will pass away and there's no heirs mm -hmm. to take care of the property. So that property ends up at a tax sale because nobody pays. Other times people just go through stress like they did in this last year and they don't pay their tax on time, but they will pay it. So they'll pay it later. But meanwhile, you could be earning money on that tax lien certificate. So we're not dealing with bad people that uh, do bad stuff. It's not that. It's just the circumstances. One or 2% of all the properties in the United States will go to some kind of tax default this year. One to 2%. Gotcha. That's a lot of properties. So Yeah, it is. Oh, boy, it is. All right. So one, one last thing I want to make sure we cover on, on this, uh, this short video here, because a lot of people right now are looking at the markets. So they're going up. Um, they went down, you know, in, in 2020, they crashed, they went back up. Um, you know, people are looking at cryptocurrencies went up and went down. There's a lot of volatility out there and people are uncertain about the future. And you're seeing the government print money. The government is printing money like crazy. Like in the last what year alone, they, they printed 24% of all money in existence. The U S has printed in the last year alone. And so we're looking at our dollar and saying, okay, how do I make sure that my dollar is not just not losing value, but also gaining value or, you know, because of the inflation, right, that we're starting to see right now. So a question that I, I hear a lot of people is, hey, I have an IRA or I have a retirement account, a uh, qualified retirement account, and I want to put it in something that's more stable, getting a higher return because I feel like I'm losing money from because uh, of the markets and volatility and uh, inflation in the government. So can people use those kinds of accounts, like qualified retirement accounts, to do the strategy? All right. Absolutely. If they have a, an IRA account or a 401k, they definitely want to use that to buy tax liens. However, if they want an inflation hedge, they need to be tune in the next video because the next video, let's try to do some, some talk about uh, buying the actual properties because the property generally, I'm a real estate guy like you, generally right. keeps up with inflation. Now, I don't know if it's going to keep up the same rate, but generally, so the half of the states sell tax lien certificate. It's safe, it's secure, it's perfect for an IRA. All right, so that's one, that's one arena. Uh, on our next video, let's talk about tax deeds. Now, in those tax deeds, half of the states actually confiscate the property. They're not benevolent. They confiscate the property, and then they resell it for back taxes. So let me tell you how that works. What happens is the property's worth $200,000. The people didn't pay their tax. When they don't pay their tax, they give them warning after warning after warning. And if they don't pay, the government, the local government, confiscates the property. Now, when they confiscate it, they don't want property. What they want is the right. revenue. So they sell it for very close to the back taxes. Now, when you buy close to back taxes, what you're doing is you got a property value, let's say 200,000. You might have bought it for 10, 20, or 30 cents on the dollar. So let's say you got it for 30 cents on the dollar. So you bought that property, a $200,000 one, for a very low price compared to the whole value. And right. now you've got all that upside. So those properties are for inflation protection. I tell people they should get all they can while they can. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. All right, everybody. So I'm just, you're, you're seeing some really cool stuff here, a really cool strategy that can really get you some really good, good returns, especially if you have some accounts that you're, that you're kind of worried about, you want to get into some different assets that have essentially guaranteed or, uh, returns. This is a very, very good strategy. So um, with that, I want to make sure that we, we value your time, Ted, uh, and also keep this video short because we're going to do another one. So what I want everybody to do right now is you know keep, keep your eyes open for the next uh, email. We're going to actually have a, another video talking about this in a little more depth, a little more detail, and some more questions as well that we have as well. So with that, uh, I want to say thank you, Ted, for taking the time to do this video. This is awesome. Very good information.